Vibrio cholera is a pathogenic bacterium that causes a terrible disease that's called cholera. So it's named after the bacterium. It's estimated that there are hundreds of thousands of cases of cholera a year. And people get cholera from eating or drinking contaminated food or water. And so cholera can get into the water supply. And when people ingest cholera and it gets into their bodies, it causes a disease that, that causes this massive diarrhea that people get. And they can actually die from cholera from dehydration during this acute phase. And so cholera is prevalent in the world. It's prevalent in places that don't have, always have access to clean water. So typically poorer countries or countries that are undergoing civil strife or wars or um, catastrophes like earthquakes where the water supply gets interrupted. And it's this very um, insidious bacterium because its strategy is not to stay in the host, the human host, forever. So it gets in when people drink contaminated water. It multiplies like crazy. It releases all of these toxins that, that give you the illness, the symptoms, the diarrhea, right? And then it's multiplying in the people's gut, and it gets out by the gazillions out into the environment, and then the strategy is then to go infect the next person. So it sort of comes in guns loaded, it's very infectious, and it gets out at very high numbers to do it again. And it causes a terrible, debilitating disease. That disease would be gone if people had access to clean water, but they don't. And so it is endemic in different parts of the world. So the disease cholera would disappear if the world always or almost always had access to clean water, but they don't. And so clean water is a trillion dollar problem, and it's a political problem. It's not about not knowing how to do it, right? Many countries don't have cholera because we have clean water. And so the real fantasy is that everyone would have access to clean water, and then we wouldn't need new medicines for cholera. But in fact, much of the world doesn't have that as a luxury or a necessity. And so that's why we have to make medicines for cholera. Because the, the sad, depressing truth is that the people who suffer from cholera won't have access to clean water in the near future. And so we have to do something else, even though the real best strategy is to give clean water. But that's not on the horizon. And that's a truth. There's a number of problems with cholera, which is the current medicines don't get to the people. That's a real problem. The second one is that cholera is resistant to many of the currently used antibiotics. And the third is that they just don't work particularly well against that bacterium. And so it would be really great news if a scientist or scientists could discover a, a vaccine for cholera that was effective or a very potent medicine that is really cheap, so it could be given to lots of people who don't have the ability to pay for it.